new band of rebels arose who were determined to carry the fight to Jerusalem. The Sicarii. To the Sicarii. Anyone who wasn't fighting the Romans was a collaborator and worthy of death. Many were slain every day, and the fear they put in is worse than the calamity itself. so-called white men, but they're, we deal with the seed line of, of our uh, of their forefathers. That's right. Just like how the people of Israel dealt with the house of their father. You never heard of the uh, terminology of, of uh, the house of their foremothers. You never heard of that. Well, they're, they're not, they're not, you know what I'm saying? The scriptures say that, there, that our heirs would be given to another another nation. You know what I'm saying? Those people that are over there in, in, uh, in Israel, they're in Ashdod and Palestine and whatnot. Those people, those white people over there, are not the real Jews. They're actually, they are converts. They actually, they're imposters. They're imposters. You know what I'm saying? They actually, That's right. Their line goes back to a people called the Khazars. That's right. All right. They came came around during the sixth century. All right. And they started following so-called Judaism and say that they're they're one of the Jews. You know what I'm saying? And they take Bibles, they take prophecies in the Bible to try to say that. Well, we're back here in the land of Israel back in 1948. That's the fulfillment of this prophecy in the Bible. That they're out. And the whole world is allowing them to do it. Because the Bible says that the Jews won't go back to the land until God's son comes back, Jesus, and puts them there. So those guys are over there in the land without Jesus being here. Uh, get, 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 get. Hey, let, well, we're going to get Zechariah 9 and 6 real quick. Because this, uh, this the prophet Zechariah speaking of the things that are going on to this very day and the things that will be going on too in the land of Israel right now. Okay. So I'm going to show where it says that the Jews won't be there for Jesus. Yeah. This is Zechariah, chapter 9, verse 6. Bring it up. And a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. What? A bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. Right. Come on. Ashdod is all, all throughout that, whole, that little area. King James, King James 16 11. So a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. All right. Ashdod, that whole area. Of Palestine, the Gaza Strip, that's that area of Ashdod, all right? It says a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, all right? What is a bastard? A bat, huh? So, right, but this, but so, but we also use the terminology of a bastard to say someone that's per perpetrating somebody, heretic, right? Wouldn't, wouldn't you say that? Okay, those people over there are perpetrating a heritage that's not there. They say that they're Jews. Give me, give me a uh, Revelation 2 and 9. Oh, you got it? Here we go. This is the book of Revelations. 
This is the book of Revelations, chapter 2, in the ninth verse. It says, yeah, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Right, so all the so when you deal with the Jews, right? It says that this this speaking of uh this this speaking uh, this speaking of Jesus, right? You know what I'm saying? Oh. Jesus is like it. Jesus is speaking right here, alright? And he's saying that in these times right now, alright, the Jews will be will be suffer poverty. You know what I'm saying? And when we look at even when we look at the term ghetto, right? It says it's a Jewish quarter. If you go look it up in in the, on the Google and look it up in Jews, yep, yeah, the place where Jews Jews reside, right? But guess what? We know that word ghetto is associated with black people, right? So read that again. Black. It says, "I know thy works and tribulation and poverty." Right. It says, "But thou art rich." But thou art rich. We know that there's a people out here that's going through poverty. But we know that everybody wants to be there. Everybody, like, the whole culture of society is built around the culture of a particular nation of people. And we know that it has, that's talking about so-called uh, black people, whatever. It says, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Right, so the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews, blasphemy means lies, go ahead. And are not. And are what? And are not. And are not. Yeah. Blasphemy yeah. of them that say they are Jews, but they're yeah. not. Yeah. But are what? But are the synagogue of Satan. But are the synagogue of Satan. So what he's saying is right here, speaking of Christ, he's saying that the Jews in the last days, they'd be in the lowest state. They'd be in poverty. You know what I'm saying? They'd be on the bottom of the total uh, pole in the society. But, but also, too, over there in the land of Israel, all right, they would be, there would be a nation of people that would be perpetrating the nationality, the heritage, and culture of, of a Hebrew of life, of particular the so the, particular the Jews. All right. If you ask a Jew, what does the word Jew derivates from? They will never tell. They'll never tell you. They have no idea. But they claim themselves to be a Jew. Yeah. What does Jew mean? Um, Judaism? Uh, what Jew? Um, Jew? They have no idea what it means. What a Jew is. Do you see this dude right here, Judah? That was Israel's fourth son. All of his right. kids, all the people that came out of out of him, all of everybody out of his loins became the Jews. So Jew is short for the word Jew. But the Jewish people right around, they don't know what that means. And the ISH on the end of Jewish, the uh, suffix ISH means pertaining to a life. So if I tell you, hey, I'm gonna be over there at noonish, that don't mean I'll be there at noon, but I'll be there somewhere around noon. If I say that color is reddish, it's not red, but it's kinda red. The same thing with Jewish. They wish they were Jews. That's Seriously. right. Look That's right! And go, you know, do you know any Jewish people? Okay. The next time if you ever run into anybody that says they're Jewish, ask what Jew short for and watch. They don't know. But if you are a Jew, you're supposed to. How, how do you not know? How do you not know that? You exactly. Know, like somebody said, what does black mean? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. And, and look, and look, <laughs> and look, and look and right, right. So here's the thing. Here's the thing about it too. We have documents. We don't just have. We don't just go off go off words. We have right. archaeology and proof and back to back what we're saying. So this is a book called Arts of the, of the Ancient Black Hebrew. All right, by I forget I forget this person's name, but these are actual fresco paintings over there in Rome and Italy. All right, showing you of the Jews during the time of Rome. You know what I'm saying? And some of these some of these paintings are like paintings of of certain empires that the Jews or the Israelites in general were residing in. All right, you find one right here. So this is one of the catacombs right here. Of uh, actually, let me. Why are you find that? Uh -huh. Just to answer your question too, we were asking if it's about skin color and we were telling you it's about nation. Right. Like Africans, they got the same color skin as us, but we're two completely different nations. You know? That's why you see a bunch of uh, Negro football players, Negro basketball players, and trash stuff. You don't see that with the Africans, you know what I'm saying? They should have a whole bunch more yeah, optimal eyes for us if we were the same nation of people as them. Like the Chinese and the Japanese, their eyes are both like this, they have similar features, but if you mistake one for the other, you got a problem there, you know what I'm saying? So it's not about your color, it's about what nation you're from. And the Africans exactly. sold us into slavery, so the Bible said they're going into slavery too. That's right. But, yeah, so, yeah, and you know, the Africans, like like the brother said, that's not our people, you know what I'm saying? People associate us with Africans, but we're not. You know what I'm saying? That was a lie that they told you. Yeah. Well, 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 I'm gonna show you. Yeah. So, so we're gonna show you some fresco paint. You know, what I'm saying. So this is a. This, so, so this guy right here, you know about Samson in the Bible, right? Well, this painting right here over there in Rome depicts him as a so-called black man. You know, what I'm saying. Well, I knew they'd be dark. Obviously, right. Sun, but, right. Uh, well, it's not about the sun. It's because look, there's people, there's white people over there in South Africa. Yeah. All right. And and, 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 and they, they, they yeah. might they, they yeah. might get from Europe. 
Yeah, they came from Europe. They went to South Africa, but they're not, you know what I'm saying, but they're not getting any darker. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, dealing with the Eskimos. I'm an Eskimo, okay? The Eskimos up here in the North Pole, all right, they're dark, they're, they're brown just like any of us right here. You know what I'm saying? But they're, they live up in the North Pole. You know what I'm saying? Living, living in the cold and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? man in Israel right now. He can stay up there. He can move to Africa. He can stay there for the next 200 years. He'll never come black. Right. He's That's right. White, maybe a little more tan. If he stays in the cell for too long, you guys know what happened. He gets skin cancer. Come. These are facts. These are, this isn't about our opinion. These facts oh. offend people, but it's the truth. That's why they say you can't handle the truth where the truth hurts. That's right. Yeah, so, huh. so we gonna, so we showed you some images in there. We're gonna show you the biblical proof too. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is Revelations, the first chapter, 13th verse. Bring it up. Right. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Right, the one like unto the Son of Man, right? So the Son of Man is speaking of who the world calls Christ, go ahead. Clothed with the garment down to the foot. Right, clothed, clothed with the garment down to the foot. When he deal with the Hebrew Israelites, they had a they always had a garments like like me and what this brother's wearing right now. Garments down to the foot with the border of blue and fringes. Just like how, how this is depicted right here. Go ahead. And gird about the paps with the golden girdle. Right, golden with the paps, golden about with the paps with the golden girdle. Alright, the reason why he had a golden girdle was to protect him, protect himself from uh being thrust through. Okay, and the reason why is because the Lord is a man of words, speaking of God. If Christ came in the image of, of God, came in the uh, the philosophy of his father, all right, the doctrine of his father. So when he comes back, he's coming back to warfare. Okay, go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. All right, so his head and his ears were white like wool. So we deal, um, deal with his head, right? See his hairs in this depiction is, is woolly and it's white, okay? It's like, read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Right, they, they were white like wool. The reason why they were white was because of the amount of knowledge that he had. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he was, when he was young, he was confounding um, the, uh, the top. What was it? The, Physicians and the doctor. Yeah, the doctor. Yeah, physician and doctor. You know what I'm saying? And, but he also gave you a description of his uh, texture of his hair, which is woolly. And you go into different old, um, like 16, 1700, 1800, um, the pictures of black people and their hair texture, they always say wool, okay? White like wool, as white as snow. White as snow, go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Right, so his eyes were as a flame of fire because he drunk a lot of wine. You know, or he, he wasn't a wine bibber, but he drunk wine, you know what I'm saying? That's right. It's like any, you look at any black person, you know what I'm saying, they walk around, they might drink a little bit of wine, and their, their eyes start getting big. Now, other everybody's people, different, yeah. Yeah, yeah everybody. Our son who lies be real red. Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just get red as a fire truck. <laughs> right, and, and, and I'm gonna just say this: I see a lot of drunk white dudes around. I don't see their eyes get as drunk as as, as black people. You know what I'm saying? Kind. Oh, yeah. And his feet like unto fine brass. Right, so his feet like unto fine brass. Go ahead. As if they burn in a furnace. Right. So, what color is brass? Dark brown. Dark brown. Right. <laughs> Get darker. Right, you put anything in the furnace, you burn it, uh, put it in the furnace long enough, it's gonna turn black, right? Okay, you know what I'm saying? That's what that, that proves the, the color, because if, it, if his feet are, are as cut, the color of his feet is burnt brass, and his whole body would have to be burnt brass, right? Or at least the color. Yeah. Okay. What's going to Well, you see where it says right here that his hair was white, light blue? When I first heard that, Years ago, I was one of those people who used to argue. And like, it doesn't say he has hair. Wool says his hair was white. Like, well, wool is white too, but there's black wool too, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, I argue with that. So this is uh, Daniel 7 and 9. It says, I beheld to the, th to the thrones were cast down, mm -hmm. and the Ancient of Days did sit. Right, so the Ancient of Days is speaking of the Heavenly Father. Or yeah. Jesus is dead, because he's the Ancient of all days. Right. There's no beginning and no end. Right. So it says... He, he's the one that created time. Right, right that's right. It says, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. Right, the hair, hair, the, the hair of his head was like the pure wool. So it was pure woolly, you know what I'm saying, of the woolly hair texture. So when we use white right there, it just lets you know that it was of the pure wool, you know right. what I'm saying? Same thing with the sun, but it just, just used the word and, white right and, there. And, and another thing, too, you got to understand is that 
Old Testament is Hebrew, New Testament is Greek. You know what I'm saying? So, so the terminology or the way they word, the wording is going to be different in uh, New Testament versus the Old Testament. Yeah, but we had to get some friends over at the Target. Right? Okay.